Hey guys, it's Sasuke here, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. So today, <clears throat> as I clear my throat, Greed Mode, Blue Baby. So, the interesting thing about Blue Baby is he starts with no red hearts, and he can never gain red hearts. As you're going to watch when I pick this up, it's worth one spirit heart. So, it's very, very valuable to not get hit. More valuable than even normal, which is kind of strange to say. Normally, I would go check this curse room, but if <clears throat> if there's any chance in, you know, hell, heaven, wherever the hell, we're going to try down to put down this poop as much as possible, but we also need it to not get in our way, because there's a chance, oh, that we will get consumables from this poop. Let's go ahead and take this turret out. Oh, hi. How are you? How's your cousin? she nice? she friendly? She looks like a zombie! Remember, everything in this world looks like a zombie. Okay, so we've put down our poop just about every single time it's been available thus far. It's been working out, you know. I mean, it hasn't worked out for us yet. This is not somewhere I want to be. Ooh, just run up through there. Ooh, dodge that one. Come on, hit him. I like that we trapped that guy in there in accident. This is a nightmare. Okay, so we got hit, but there's still the chance to get our deal with the devil if we really want to. Alright, there's no longer a chance of getting our deal with the devil. Oh my god, there's another wave? Are you serious? There's another one after this? Guys, we're probably just gonna die right here. Our damage is so poop right now. And look, infinite spiny spider spawners. Oh god, not like this. I quit putting down the poop because it'll just get in our way. Oh my lord. This, I can't lie, this has been a nightmare of a time. We're slowly chipping away at this army that they've sent our way, but this is not the blue baby start that you want, to be 100% honest. You want a nice, gentle start as blue baby. You don't want anything to be overcomplicated. He's, he's a very fragile character. At least in the early game, you know, he get. He gets a bit more resilience um, later on when spirit hearts are more abundant. But holy crap! I need a freaking breather, and none of these items are really even worth it. So let's do this first. Go check out our item room. Side bombs. That is a great item. It could have a lot of synergies, and conveniently enough, I remember this tented rock being here. So. Ah, that's a little trolly, but you know, we might open it anyway and give it a shot. Let's see if maybe he'll spawn up here. He didn't. But it did get some nice damage done. We've taken too much damage to take a deal with the devil, unless it were a deal with the devil that gave us spirit hearts. Which it's possible. Don't get me wrong. So we might we might as well fight for it anyway. You never know. Could be uh nine lives, could be Red Mega Fatty does scare me a little bit as he is a pretty quick enemy, surprisingly. And uh, he also does that annoying attack, which is only terrible if there's two Mega Fatties, to be 100% honest with you. <clears throat> it's pretty easily dodgeable. Oh, when there's only one. Unless he does them that fast. Oh, hi. How are you? That was a little scarier than I thought it was going to be. Whoa, whoa, calm down. He's going off right now. Yeah, that attack gets extremely scary when there's two Mega Fatties that are both pulling the tears in opposite directions. Come on. Yes! That was some good damage right there. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but... Oh! No! Come on! This is a hard-ass boss, man. To have this little bit of damage on. Pretty hard boss. It's almost over, though. We just need to... Don't lose... Vigil. It's very easy ooh, to take damage in the last few seconds of it. Oh man, I need a breather. Another one. Let's try the reroll. I want this. I was really hoping that one cent would reroll. Maybe we'll get some money from these fellows. Ooh! An early penny tears. This is gonna be really good. This could totally snowball us out of control. We'll see. What do we get from this is the question. I don't even know what Bible Track does, to be 100% honest with you. 
I think we do this. I think it could be good. Because you never know where we're going to find these second secret rooms. <coughs> Temperance is good. Empress is real good. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, first we grab this Temperance. We run all the way back up here. Pop this down. Oh, it was a... Devil. That's fine by me. We're going to get a heart when we leave, which is fine. This is going to be a um, spirit heart. We get a key out of the deal, and we got two bombs. And then we have Empress in case this boss fight just happens to be the worst ever. And, oh my god. It's four monstros. Let's be honest here. That's not very fair now, is it? It's okay. They actually don't have too much HP. We just have to keep track of all of them at once. Because if we let one of them get off screen and do a hidden jump on us, we could find ourselves dead pretty quickly. The nice thing is we will occasionally get pennies from these uh, penny tiers. Ooh, that was scary. This is real scary. Yeah, we took a hit. We still technically have three hits on us because of the uh, <laughs> soul heart. Oh my god, this has been extremely difficult. Holy moly. I think we're, we're winding down now. It's getting a lot less chaotic. A little bit of money popping out there from our tears is fantastic. He got hooked on the poop, lol. He should be dead any second. There we go. Now we got a couple more cents for our uh, trouble. Nine lives, of course. Um, since we have nine lives, I don't feel bad about just getting up the flight for free, pretty much. Uh. <coughs> nice. So now we fly. Now we have nine lives. Pretty good, if you ask me. Two more bombs with a. Uh, with our current bomb setup is perfectly fine. I don't think we have anything else to do here. We should probably just leave. I don't know what causes... Oh, we could just die here, actually. I don't know what causes the coins to spawn. I think it's when it comes in contact with an enemy. On occasion, it spawns a coin. Because if not, you could just sit in a corner and farm infinite money, right? I think that's correct. Alrighty. Well, we have a key for this next floor, so we're going to get an early start. We have bombs for whatever. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, it's so good! Oh, we get a free host hat. This is already paid off. I'm doing this just in case there might be some. This is free HP, which is going to keep us alive a little bit longer. And Rusted Key, I think, has a chance to make keys drop, which I don't even think is actually any good for us because there aren't drops in normal greed mode? Question mark? I could just be completely wrong about that. Okay, so now we have unlimited bombs, which is fantastic. The uh, the constant infinite tears going out everywhere is quite nice. I'm not going to lie about that. I do think we want to do this, and then this. Store credit. We get one item completely for free. PJs would be nice. Nod Leaf is interesting, but I think PJ is going to keep us alive throughout this uh, ordeal here. So, oh, we just got to make sure not to kill ourselves, which is pretty... It's easier said than done, because the tears from the Penny Tears actually knock our bombs, like, possibly into us. Which is pretty much a nightmare. But when it everything goes right, it goes really right. Ow. Oh, that didn't hurt us. Oh, the host had his bomb immunity, isn't it? Hold on, I'm going to test it when I can. Oh, it's so good, guys. This run is going to be so cool. I can, like, feel it already. I'm excited, guys. I'm real excited. So we can just hold down the tears at this point. There's no reason not to. I guess we should be putting down our poop on occasion, too. Jeez. Okay, nicely done. I'm pretty excited for this run now. At first I was like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, this run is okay. Now I'm starting to see the interesting stuff come out. So we have unlimited bombs to reroll, which is a good thing. BFF could be interesting. Chaos. You know what, let's do it. 
Seven cents for that? Uh, yes, please. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and fight this next wave. There's a penny hidden in here. I think we will check this out. Our damage is pretty much sorted at this point. It can only go up and up and more insane from here. Are you a wizard? Doesn't even affect us. Have we seen our second secret room? We have. That's where we got the host hat, which gave us invulnerability. Which is pretty much one is one of the main reasons I'll admit that this run is going to be more insane than it normally would be. If we didn't have the invulnerability of tears, there's a good chance that we could just kill ourselves. Like, pretty damn easily. But with the invulnerability, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, not the retrovision! Not the retrovision! Okay, plenty of money to pick up here. Nom nom nom. Oh. Okay. Now we can do some more rerolls till we find something that we really want. And since we picked up chaos. Oh, I blew up. I'm sad. I don't think there's anything we want here. We might as well just save our money. We do need a key, though, for the next item room. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and see what our deal with the devil is. These enemies are kind of annoying because they, uh, they just jump around so often. But hopefully the shots are actually going to be doing some work against them. There's one down already. Wow, that shot hit him real hard. All right, Book of Belial. I mean, it's a lot better than what we have. The poop is pretty useless. Yeah, okay. It's better than the poop by far. The poop is just so meh. It, it can have synergies. If you have Midas Touch, you can actually make infinite golden poops, which is something that most people don't know. But it's actually a really, really interesting synergy, and I've only had it once in my entire, like, 250 plus hours of playing Isaac. Or at least, um,. And Afterbirth, I have probably even more hours than the original. Okay, this is pay to play, which I don't really want. But it would save us keys for the rest of the run. And it's only a single cent for it. So, I think it's not a bad idea. Raw liver is just HP. Um, we don't have a reroll ability, so... I'm not really going to sweat over it too much. What we got in here? Yes. Does this even work? We're gonna... The game's probably gonna be breaking pretty soon. If you guys were wondering. Um, something that Northern Lion says that I'm gonna say as well. If, uh... If you're sensitive to flashing things, just look away from the screen. Don't watch this run. Hit us up on the next one. Because this is probably gonna be doing some bad for your eyes. It's making me feel a little silly. But, um, somebody who actually suffers from such a thing would probably legitimately get sick strength all right let's go ahead and pop our book of belial and let's just win the game because i can't imagine a world in us losing it's just a bomb just like one bomb and it's gonna start making the game lag too i'm thinking because all the stuff on the ground oh my god yeah i can see that it's actually lagging a bit in obs not like this not like this Oh well. We asked for insanity. Here's the run. <laughs> Alright, we got plenty of money. Uh, we have a book of wild charts, so I don't feel bad about doing this. That's Guppy. We could reroll. Do we have any... Yeah, we have nine lives. So why not? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe we're about to become Guppy this easily. What are we even fighting here? Oh, it's Little Horn. Hi, Little Horn. How are you? I believe you are a little dead. Cage this early, man. If we didn't get this lucky with this OP of a thing, we could definitely be boned here. Okay. Plenty of money, surprisingly, popped out of those two. So let's go ahead and become Guppy. I can't believe we're Guppy this early. It's actually a bit ridiculous. As much as I do love it. Okay, here we go. Monster 2. Monster 2 and Monstro. And oh my god, all of the tears. <laughs> all of the tears make guppy shots. I can't believe how OP this run is, though. 
Holy god. And it's just getting stronger. We're just making our tiers even better. Look. Oh, Jesus. Oh, god. What have we done? What is... Okay, this is actually killing my eyes a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I mean, there's no way to make more money. Let's leave. Let's just say that's that. Oof. This is probably the craziest run I've had in Afterbirth. And you guys have seen it. We've had some strange ones. Monster Manual is actually an amazing item in uh, this mode. I don't think we're in need of it, though, because I think Book of the Wild is just as good. But our damage is sorted, right? Let's at least get something interesting going. Guppy Guppy? Now we're just, like, more Guppy? <laughs> How can you become more guppy? There's more! We're not gonna take that one. That just seems a bit silly. Got a free key. Will this accidentally reroll multiple times? It did not. Let's check what this is. The double active. Okay. Well, uh, we'll keep this for now. Two free spirit hearts. Man, this run is just a joke right now. Alright, so we have Bob's Brain, uh, Cuban Meat, it looks like. Don't you? I knew he was going to. Let's just spam it, man. Let's see if we get something interesting. We got, what is that, Spider Baby? I guess we can just, like, hold down the button and see if the game breaks. If it does, or if the game, or if it starts lagging too bad, I'm sorry. I don't even know. Oh, we got ball of bandages that time. Polycephalus is dead. Where is the heart? That's all we need to hit here. Alright, and now Mask of Infamy is also deceased. He has been annihilated. Do we want to use our monster manual here? I don't think we do. Oh, it's mom's heart. Bye. Yes. I would never reroll this run game. I, I think you're hilarious in thinking that I would even do that. Oh my god, our tears are even bigger. <laughs> yes. I mean, this will make our tears bigger. Have we already breakfast? I swear we haven't. There we go. Dry Baby is real good, actually. For 7 cents, it's hard to beat it. There's another breakfast. It's really trying to get us to breakfast ourselves. Oh no, it exploded multiple times. I really wanted what it had previously, but we'll actually take Steam Cell and be just as happy because it's really good. Let's head out. The suspense there was killing me. Let's do what? Let's do what? You can sometimes get items from these, by the way, if you're wondering I'm shooting them. The little polyps, that is. Got no no sort of thing there. We're on autopilot from here, to be 100% honest with you. There's breakfast again, really trying to push that breakfast today. Guess, if anything, we'll take Capricorn. All stats up. And Jar of Flies isn't as interesting as Monster Manual, so we'll keep Monster Manual. You know, I mean, Jar of Flies has been used a trillion times over. Everybody knows it's good. We've all used it. We've seen your o penis, giggity giggity. Why not give something else a chance to be really good for a little while? Uh, Sack Dagger is pretty good. But is it good enough to take? Well, we don't, we couldn't anyway. <laughs> Never mind. What is this? Devil. Just go ahead and use it. Use monster manual as well. And looks like we got. Oh, our damage is so big it's shaking the screen now. I hope we don't accidentally turn it off. I can't see if we would or not, though. Boom, 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 boom. This is lovely chaos right here. This, You know how they say, like, there's people who thrive under chaos? This is what they thrive under. If you're one of those people who think that you thrive under chaos, do you thrive in moments like this when you can't comprehend what's going on? Don't, 
I don't even know why I died. He just like, imploded. He's like a neutron star there for a moment. The game is lagging a little bit, I'll admit. Well, a lot more than a little bit. I don't know if you guys see the stuttering. <clears throat> Spiders and bombs. Fair enough, not every duel of the devil can be the best, and considering that we're already guppy with infinite damage that we will never need to replace, I think we're fine. Spectral Tears is interesting. It'll go for rocks and such, so why not? It seems good. Don't want Bob's Rotten Head, though. Meat is only a .3 damage upgrade. Uh, don't need a, another HP up. And it popped. It's kind of disappointing in the amount of crap. Oh, more damage from uh, Curved Horn, though, if you don't say. Okay. Don't want to be a wizard, but we'll take that and leave. We are starting to go quite a bit faster. Not by design, just because, I mean, our, our run is this strong right now. Infinite bombs, as if we needed them. Will that break the game? Oh, it didn't. Kind of surprised. We can fly. Nothing in there. Our tears are no longer dark, for some reason. Now, Epicac should just add poison to our tears, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, we're really trying to break the game at this point. Because honestly, I feel bad for the game. So what's happening is our shots are breaking into shots are breaking into shots right now. Luckily, our speed is so great. And we'll go ahead and use Monster Manual. Yeah, like... One one bomb literally does everything in the game for us. Look at this! What the hell? I've never seen her run this strong. This is this is impeccable. This this is amazing. This is incredible. What the hell? Who was it? Who did I kill? Holy Grail, and I don't know what this is. Circular Protection. I mean, we may as well, right? I think we're 100% fine. Even at 1 HP, we could probably kill every single thing, including possibly even Ultra Greed, which I know it's a little cocky to say, but I'm feeling that damn strong right now as we just one-shot every single wave with a single bomb, pretty much. Oh, uh, there's no way to reroll. None of this is very good. We could check those. Hmm. Just buy some HP. I know it's only one spirit heart, but. There we go. We got a little bit of spirit heartage back, so at least we can feel a little bit more comfortable. Hmm. <laughs> it makes me happy. The, this is. It's a television commercial. Oh, Leprechaun Man, Leprechaun Man. Yeah. You guys get it. If you've, if you've seen, if you're in the know with the Austin Powers, then you're in the know with Austin Powers. Um. Okay. Can it stop, please? For just a second. I, I, I can't. I can't! It's happening! Don't crash, please. It's over. It's over. It's over. We made the floor green. We've unlocked the crack dice. And we got the greed machine. <laughs> well then. As I sit here and donate for an unknown amount of time, possibly even just a few seconds from now, this thing could break. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. It's such appreciation for the series. It lets me know you're enjoying it. And this synergy was insane. I've never seen something this crazy. I thought our prize bomb infinite consumable thing was cool, but this is actually just ridiculous in every way. And uh, I hope to see more crazy stuff like this. So please leave a like, leave a comment down there in the comment section below. I read and respond to every single one. If you guys are enjoying the comment, consider subscribing to the channel or recommending it to anybody who may be interested. And I hope you guys have the most amazing epic hack on. Let's just 
let's just fathom what's happening here. Epicat Cricket's body. I don't even know what. Uh, Doctor Fetus. Tons of damage. World possible. Let's uh, let's get through the credits. And let's look at our uh, pretty new accomplishment on who was it? Blue baby. There we go. Greed mode done. Yeah. See you guys. Hope you have an amazing day.